Well, welcome to day 18 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Can you believe that we are in our final four days of prayer? Wow, what an honor it is to just hunger and thirst for God with all of you. Well, our focus today is a prayer for hope, joy, and peace. And our verse is Romans 15, 13, and that says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So this verse, the Apostle Paul is writing actually to the church in Rome, and he's just really expressing his desire for the church through all of Romans. And that is what he was saying here, like, man, at the end of the day, my desire is that you would be filled with joy. My desire is that you'd be filled with peace, that we would be able to feel the God of hope filling us to overflowing through the Holy Spirit. So let's start by praying that through. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I humbly come to you as your son or daughter. I ask that you, God of hope, would fill me. Fill me with joy. Fill me with peace. I empty myself and I choose to trust you today. Holy Spirit, fill me with power. I want to overflow with more of you. In Jesus' name, amen. So I have a confession to make. <laughs> I let my gas tank go in my vehicle as low as possible before I fill it up. I don't know if that's you. My son, uh, Will, says that it's a girl thing. Sorry, girls. If it is, you tell me, but I know it's a me thing. <laughs> and if I'm really being honest, I kind of hope that Matt starts to drive my car when it's low and he fills it up for me. Um, thank you, honey, for all of the times that you filled up my tank. But uh, when I do let it go really low and then I finally get to uh, the gas station and I fill it up, I kind of have this thing of like, I want to top it off. I want it to be as full as possible so that I don't have to do it again. I don't know why. That's just my thing. So one time I was trying to top it off and I went a little too much and it, it didn't overflow just a little. It overflowed everywhere. It was like out of control, all over my jeans, all over my shoes. And I am for sure that I smelled like gas all day. I kept trying to clean it, but it's like I couldn't get rid of the smell. And I was thinking about that as it relates to this idea of overflowing. You see, God has more for us, but here's the deal, church family. When he overflows, it smells good. That means that we walk around all day and we get to smell like hope. We get to smell like peace. We get to carry his joy. So here's my challenge for us today. How do you smell? Are you overflowing with him? his word? Do others sense the power of the Holy Spirit on your life or are you running on empty? The great news is, which is exactly what Paul was saying, was that through the power of the Holy Spirit, in one moment, we can be filled up. So right now in your own words, why don't you just take some time and just pray that through. want to pray about anything else that maybe you might be believing for right now. Maybe it's physical healing or maybe forgiveness or reconciliation of a relationship. We 
I also want to take some time to just lift up our partners and in prayer, uh, those that are on the front lines of uh, mission fields in different countries. So you can pray in your own words, but I'm also going to pray and you can just agree with me as well. Jesus, we come to you today and Father, we thank you, God, that you hear us when we pray. And Jesus, you see the needs of your people. God, I declare healing. Your word says that by your stripes and through the blood of Jesus, we are healed. So I pray for physical healing today. God, I pray for backs to be healed. I pray for migraines to be gone. Father, I pray for miracles to happen in physical bodies, God, in minds, Lord Jesus. God, I pray for our hearts today. Jesus, you see where may Maybe some of us just need the courage to forgive. God, I pray that we would forgive those who have hurt us today because we just remember how much you've forgiven us. Father, for those who have relationships that need reconciled, God, would you do a miracle there? Would you give us courage to go to the other person? Would you allow their heart to be open? And Father, we just lift up our partners to you, God. We thank you for A21. We just declare that a human trafficking would come to an end in Jesus' name. God, we lift up Compassion International and, and, and the millions of children, uh, Father, that are receiving your love. God, God, through compassion. May it just continue to grow. God, we lift up missions.me and the ARC and Messenger International with uh, John and Lisa Bavira. Pray your blessing over all of our partners. God, would you just provide for them? Would the gospel go forth in incredible ways? We pray. And then, Father, we just thank you. God, we thank you that all day today, God, we can walk with the overflowing smell of you. God, would you fill us up with hope and with peace and with joy and with faith and with life, God. May those that encounter us today hear you, see you, God. May we carry you well. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Come on, church family, let's keep praying because miracles happen in Jesus' name. We'll see you here tomorrow.